Yo, what's up everyone? It's Mark with M2M Detail. In this video, we are going to be doing the front two windows on a 2018 Chevy Equinox. So we're just going to be doing the front two windows. The car is in for a full detail. Um, we're just going to knock out this window tint real quick. So, and then we'll do our full detail after. We do have some big scratches over here on this side right here that we're going to have to work out. So you guys can see all that. We're going to have to sand that down probably a little bit, get that all taken care of. Um, some more on the hood, I believe. Where are they at? Oh, there they are. So you can see these bigger ones right here. It was from the winds last week, or two weeks ago, I guess. The shingles came off off the roof and hit the vehicle. Cracked the windshield. They already got a new windshield. But yeah, we're going to take care of the scratches. We're going to knock out the window tint real quick. I'll do a video on the scratches for you as well. Um, we already got the gaskets out guys, so we're going to be bottom loading. You can see, if you guys don't know how to pop these off, undo the screw behind the door handle. You're going to get two pry tools and you're going to pry across, pop these clips out. You can see the clips right there. So, easy way to get this gasket out of the way so you don't have any fingering issues or debris coming back up in your tent. We always try a bottom load tent. It's just an easier and cleaner install. Takes a little bit more time in the beginning, but well worth it for the end result. You can always do a two-step. Just make sure you clean it really good and control your slip solution. So I already cut the two windows out right here, guys. We're gonna be using SolarGuard Supreme 28% get this rolled up real quick and of course my blade is over there so push it back hold that grab the blade here we go there we go grab our blade out and then there we go cut all the way across just like that as you guys see, there's our tools. We'll go over it real quick. We got our tri edges with the rubber, yellow turbo right here, um, peach hard cards, the easy reach one, flat card, Concord right here. And then we have our um, squeegee right here. Forgot the name, GoDaddy. And then we have our black squeegee for window cleaning. And we have a scrub pad right here. All right, guys, so let's put this window tent out real quick. There we go. If you notice right here, let's go down here real quick. You can see our tent has some issues, or our plotter has some issues meeting that line right there. So we will come in. There we go. Let's get this one peeled back for you guys. So if you guys are thinking about starting window tent and you're looking at plotters, um, check out my last video we released on the GCC plotter. It might be coming out after this video actually. But yeah, it's gonna be how I use your GCC plotter. Um, as you guys know, we have a 72 inch right here. We have the 40 inch over there. Um, GCC Jaguar VLX. Really good plotter, guys. Um, not, I mean, they're pretty expensive, but not as expensive like Graph Techs and stuff. And they work great. They get the job done. Very easy to use. Just takes time to understand the machine and how to adjust and stuff. But once you get that down, you'll be okay. Um, make sure you guys are buying the high end blades. That could be a big issue with pliers. If you're using cheap blades, you can run into some issues on cutting like ceramic film or more harder cut material, you'll have some issues. All right guys, so that looks a lot better. Might have to trim that up. We're gonna, we'll check you out closer. Your new blades, Ofas, 30 degree blade guys. Let's come back down here and There we go, that looks better. All right guys, so now we're gonna clean the windows. We'll start on the passenger side because this side's pretty much ready to go. Okay, let's flip the tent around real quick. All right, so this will be our passenger side right here, guys. How we're gonna check. Go on the outside of the vehicle. Yep, that would be your passenger side. Passenger side goes over here. And then we'll put our driver's side over on the other side. There we go. Let's go a little higher so it's easier for us to grab. Okay, guys, so let's start cleaning the window real quick. We got our towels right here. Try to keep it as clean as possible.
make sure our hands are lubed. All right, there we go. I'll grab this back. There we go. All right, grab our tent, guys. Go underneath it, pick it up, just like that. Remember, make sure before you guys go onto a window, you want to have good control of the film so you're able to move it around, which we do. Go down one knee. All right, see how we snuck that bottom edge in. Let's um, try to move it now. A little tacky. Not too bad though, so. Get that bottom in, just like that. We just gotta get this top down. There we go. All right, so the top's down, guys. Now we're just gonna work this back side in. All right, so a little crease right there. Get that top edge in, just like that. There we go. Try not to go over that top edge, guys. If you do go over that top edge a little bit too much, sometimes you pick up debris. So there we go. Now we just need to smooth this out. There we go. Get that air bubble out. There we go. Wipe this down one more time. All right guys, so hopefully you can see our top edge is really good lined up. You're gonna come out here, you wanna make sure you can't see the tent line which we can't, it looks good. So let's go to the other side real quick, guys. pick up any contaminants in the air so there we go now going down on one knee let's get this front end like that get that back in there we go Make sure there's no big bubbles in there. Okay, front's in. Now we get to work on the back side, squeezing it down. And get that top in like that. There we go. Get all that air out, guys. You don't want big 
big amounts of air that'll cause trouble when you're squeegeeing. So get all that out. Now let's line this up. There we go. Let's check our outside real quick. So you can't see the tent line, no tent line. The tent did fall a little bit, so we're gonna pull it back up. So we got a little bit of debris right here, guys. Got it out. All right, guys, so that looks good. Make sure we can't grab that tent. Still can't see a tent line. Let's go back to the first side. And now we're squeegee this one real quick, guys. So, just like that. Make sure your blade's nice and clean. that top edge get that bubble out of the way so. there we go almost forgot our heat gun Need that because it's a little too cold. Looks good. All right guys, so the heat gun's right here now. We're gonna grab our blue triangle, loop it down a little bit. Let's get this top edge nice and flat. And we'll go all the way down, just like that. Up through there back down all right that looks good one more time all the way through nice now this is just gonna be for insurance to make sure we got all the slip solution any air we don't want to leave anything behind go bam that's done we'll grab a new towel grab our peach card under the towel guys and we're gonna hit that top edge just like that it looks good throw a little bit of heat now So let's see if we can see this little air bubble. There's a tiny little air bubble right there, guys. So we're gonna grab the peach card. And just squeeze it out. Everything looks good. Let's get this window rolled up and finish it off. One, two, three. There we go. Hit this bottom edge. Get this all taken care of now. So I'm just pulling back on the door panel so I get my squeegee deeper, which right here it's not gonna get nearly as far as I want. So that's that. Now we're gonna grab this. We'll grab our contour. It's nice and lubed up. Go across that bottom edge. Go across there. Go across there. Now we'll get the back side. And we're looking good. OK, 
Okay guys, so that's one window down. Let's just wipe it, wipe the glass down now. All right, is that looking good? Give it a little mist. Make sure our blade's nice and clean. And hold the tent. And we're going all the way across. There we go, grab our blue card, nice and clean. Let's get this top edge out, looking good. All the way down, top, and all the way down. Wipe this off real quick. Now we'll do our, do our one more pass, make sure we got everything. There we go. Looking good. So we got a lot of towels going on. Grab our blue card, get that all the way down, up, and all the way down. Now we'll grab this one, the peach card, flat card, hard card, whatever you guys want to call it. Do our top edge real quick. Make sure there's no liquid up there. Make sure everything looks good. Looks good, let's grab our heat gun real quick. Okay. So, start from over here. There we go. All right, so now let's get that bottom in. A little bit of spray. Here we go. Now we do this across there. There we go. Wipe this down. There we go. Throw some heat on that bottom edge. If you guys are trying to use a heat gun to dry plastic like that, remember guys, super, super careful. Do not leave the heat gun for a long period of time. It will burn the plastic. So um, if you're just trying to do a quick dry like that, just you know, run it real fast, real quick, nothing crazy. Right, let's wipe down this glass real quick. See how we're looking. All right, wipe down our door panel. And let's grab the key. I try not to leave keys in the vehicle when the windows are up. All right, let's wipe down this exterior real quick, guys. Okay, guys. So if you guys want to watch I me mean, put the door panels back together, I'll keep it rolling. But if you guys are out, you just want to see the window tint real quick, I appreciate you guys watching. Please like and subscribe. As always, mark out. See you guys. Car automatically locked itself. All right, so if you guys are still with me, we're gonna put the door panels back in, I mean the gaskets back in, put the door panels back on. So let's knock this out real quick. <sighs> Grab our little spray. All right, so we're just gonna lube these up. Make sure these are nicely lubed, nice and clean. 
Man, I think we're gonna have to do the back first because the back one doesn't like to come out at all. Okay, so having a little trouble right there. There we go. Whew. So sometimes they're a lot harder, guys. And then we just back on. Let's see. Let's see how this side wants to go. We're gonna try the opposite way, see how that works. Because we really had bend it. There we go. So if we did. So that side went a lot easier like that. Just gotta poke this down. There we go. All done. All right guys, so the gaskets are back in. Let's just put the bolts on real quick and then we'll be done with the window tent. Oh, we got our bolt. You guys don't know Chevy are pretty much always seven millimeter seven millimeter nuts that one's done you guys don't have to go too tight just go to what's tight uh oh come on bud one down grab this there we go Grab this real quick. Done. All right, guys. So thank you for watching. I appreciate it. If you guys have any questions about window tinting, hit us up. And we'll be happy to help you guys out. All right, guys. Till next time. Mark out.